wearing a Samsung shirt for an Apple video, deal with it. I'm uh, rebellious like that. AirPods Pro 2, they have been out since September of 2022. And they were released again September of 2023 with a new USB-C case and some lossless features for using it with a Vision Pro. And now they were released again in September of 2024, third year in a row. This year they have a lot of new, really cool hearing aid features. And you know, I can hear just fine, so I'm not gonna take advantage of it. Hearing aids are expensive, and the new AirPods Pro 2 features with the hearing aids and the medical grade hearing aids, like that's cool, that's cool, right? Like that's a feat of technology. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for me. I just don't care. AirPods Pro 3, what are they gonna have? Is it just gonna have all the exact same features just with better noise canceling? Have we reached peak AirPod? AirPods Pro 2 have incredible noise canceling. They have incredible transparency mode. They have incredible sound quality for what it is. If you're an audiophile, I don't know. I'm not an audiophile. I don't know what you would think. They have been out for three years now and I've had no issues with them. I love them. I've been using AirPods Pro 2 every single day. Unfortunately, they don't fit in my right ear, except if I push really hard and that kind of sucks. But other than that, that's an issue everybody deals with with any of the AirPods. I've never heard somebody say, yeah, both AirPods fit in my ear perfectly. If that's you, lucky you. AirPods Pro 2, what do you think? Like, do you think that AirPods Pro 2 have reached peak AirPods now with these new features? Should these new features have been on AirPods Pro 3? And so if you're wanting to buy AirPods Pro 2 in 2024, yeah, do it. That's it, end of the video, bye. Like they've been re-releasing these things every year for the last three years. So now when you buy it, it's gonna have the USB-C charging case. So if you have a Vision Pro, it's gonna work with that. And apparently it has slightly worse ANC with the USB-C charging case. I'm sure that was fixed in a software update a while ago. I don't know. And if you buy it, you know, before December or by December, it's gonna have the new hearing aid features. You're gonna get the full-fledged AirPods Pro 2. I'm still using the Lightning AirPods Pro 2. They work fine. I would love to get the USB-C one, just have the newest one, but honestly, I haven't plugged my AirPods Pro 2 in in a long time. I only use MagSafe charging with it. I only use the Apple Watch charging with it, or I'll just use regular wireless charging. I have a really cool wireless charger from Best Buy that has a little square the size of an AirPod that you put it in, and it lights up the thing, so it tells you if you're charging it correctly or not. It's actually pretty cool. It's not bad, it's overpriced. So I don't really care or need the USB-C charging case. I understand if you have the AirPods Max with lightning because those don't really wirelessly charge. You wanna get the new USB-C one so you can have USB-C everything. But with the AirPods Pro 2, if you have the lightning one, it doesn't really matter. Unless you have a Vision Pro and want the lossless audio, that's a very niche audience. You already have the money to buy the, you know, the AirPods Pro 2 again with USB-C or you can just buy the charging case with the AirPods Pro 2, just the charging case for a hundred bucks with USB-C, and then you have to do some dance and song and whatever to get the old buds from your old lightning case to work now with the USB-C case. That's a whole thing. Apple's consistently upgrading these new AirPods. It's really cool. I'm curious to know, is AirPods Pro 2 gonna get released again next year, September, 2025? Or are they gonna get a mid-cycle refresh between now and September, like sometime in, February or March, or are we gonna get finally AirPods Pro 3 in maybe black, maybe new colors, finally. What an idea. That is one of the biggest issues AirPods Pro 2 have ever had. So to answer the question, yeah, AirPods Pro 2 in 2024, incredible. One of the best in-ear headphones you can buy. The silicone ear tips are fine. If you wanna buy third-party memory foam ones, you can, the ear fit tip test, ear tip fit test, works great. The ANC sound quality, incredible. Spatial audio, the personalized spatial audio, the adaptive audio, transparency mode, all of this stuff really works very well. But now you run into the issue that the AirPods 4, not Pro, just the AirPods 4 just came out and it has ANC noise canceling. It has adaptive audio. It has spatial audio. It has this, it has that. It has a freaking case with speakers on it to help with Find My. Why would you even spend a hundred dollars more to get the Pro 2s 
Would you really spend $100 more to get silicone ear tips when you can get, you know, like a removable silicone ear tip that goes on the fours from Amazon third party? Or is it because the AirPods Pro 2 do everything that the AirPods 4 do just a thousand times better? Is that it? Online it says the ANC on the Pros are pro level and the AirPods 4 just have regular ANC. So is it the AirPods Pro have two times better sound quality, three times better sound quality or better ANC? Or is the transparency mode on the 4s better? because the AirPod 4s are more open because they're not they're not sealed in your ear. So, you know, what is it? We're going to need to test it. We're going to need to find out. And uh, that's not going to be me. It's going to be a million other YouTubers who get them for free because I uh, can't afford them. I've been using AirPods Pro 2 for a while and I plan on sticking with these until they die. And I think you should too, or you should go ahead and buy them on Amazon or yeah, Amazon or Apple, don't buy them on eBay. They're so easy to fake. AirPods Pro 2, buy them. They're great. I'm Jake, this shot on my phone.